have the best coconut here in St. Vincent on this block here. When you come SVG, look for me, Rasta Gailo. Just wait click up here and you will be taken care of. Two dollars for a coconut. Two dollars. Joshua. They've currently uh, got a shopping mall in place like I explained and I'm going to pan around and let you see what they've done with the place. So you can see the previous runway is still there and they've actually put have a school behind there. You can see the school kids currently doing some activities and you can also see to the further end it's a part of the actual uh, driveway for the cars. They come through here to connect to the other side of the motorway. If you turn around to the back, you can see the Joshua Centre there in the background. And you can see above there is a food place where people go and have uh, meals. They have various dishes you can buy inside. Uh, also at the top here you can see some other seating areas for having meals and stuff. And you can also see that it has a shopping mall inside. Here as well as a car park. So let's go and have a look inside. As you can see, it's a shopping mall, it's got various things in here, so it's quite a nice shopping mall, it has some great aircon in here as well. I'm now in the area where the actual food mall is, so let's take a look and see what they have. a seating area outside for people to sit here as well so uh, people if you're feeling to take a bit of air and come outside you can have your meal so you know as well this will take you about 10 minutes to get here from Kingstown so it's fairly close like I said this is the old airport of Simpsons and the Grenadines it was closed down prior to the new airport being opened in 2017 so around 2019 2018 roughly around that time this one was decommissioned and they changed it into a shopping mall and a food place very popular to come to uh, you saw inside it was pretty quiet that's the food places there's various foods pizzas patties whatever you know you're looking for it's got a variety of options in there but yeah you can see here we have a nice seating location and also it's pretty nice for people if they want to see the scenery of the island as well. And if you want to have a look at the previous airport, how it used to look.
show you uh, some food which I've just brought. Okay, so this is the national dish. This is pilau rice. This actually here is fried chicken, but this dish here is the Vincentian pilau rice. It's very, very filling. Um, a very nice dish. Uh, I know Indians have a pilau rice, but this one is a very um, peppery, very, very peppery and very tasteful uh, rice. It's called pilau rice. It's the national, one of the national dishes of St. Vincent. And also, uh, Trinidad also have pillar rice in several other islands in the uh, leeward side. Over here, uh, I have some it's a dumpling and I have some chicken and some rice, some pasta. This is just a dish I picked up in um, in the Joshua Center. So this is a very tasty meal, very peppery. Over here, this is the national drink of uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So this is high room. Very, very refreshing drink. Not that gassy, very refreshing, extremely smooth. I highly recommend you to check this beer out if you come to St. Vincent. Why not? If you're in the country, taste their own beer and check it out for yourself. Very nice beer. Over here, this uh, is a drink I like very much. It's called Marby. And Morby, you can pick this up in St. Vincent also. It's very, you don't know what the Morby tastes is like. It's like a malt kind of drink for some other people in other countries. It's the nearest taste I can say. It's uh, a little bit similar to a root beer as well, but um, it has a beautiful taste. I, I love this drink, so um, I'm always buying this. Uh, I've already poured out the Morby over here, so you see it in the, in the plastic cup. But yeah, so we have the pillar rice. This cost me $15 by the way, so it's a very good deal. And this over here cost me 10. No, oh, actually 15, so this was also a good deal. So yes, so we have the Morby, which is um, a part of the Vincentian uh, group, Harum. Uh, and you also got the Morby alcohol in the green bottle here. This is the alcohol beer of the island, which is the national beer of the country. Very tasty. Also, uh, I'm sitting on the uh, an area where you can eat food, so you can see the view I've got from the Joshua Centre. So I'm just having my uh, afternoon lunch. And again, like I mentioned, that's the pillar rice, the natural, one of the natural dishes. I highly recommend to try this if you come to the island. And also the high room beer, also to check this out and try it yourself if you come to St Vincent. You can see in the bottle there, it's got St. Vincent's prize winning lager beer. I think this has won some awards throughout the Caribbean uh, in the last few years. So um, again, it's worth checking out. So I'm gonna go and eat my food. So I'm checking off with my views. So to the next one, keep tuned. Don't forget to subscribe people. That's right. Subscribe, share and comment. So we got some uh, green banana, some yam, sweet potato, uh, sour sap, cucumbers, some peppers, um, spinach. Shout out Vinny. 
we don't make seasoning. Okay. Which there is shadow vinyl that makes seasoning with. And this is the pimento pepper that we use to make barley. Barley? Yeah, like soup. Right, right, okay. Yeah. So what's, what's, what's this here? This is the avocado that Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look, yeah, yeah. This is yeah, avocado. Yeah. So, um... This is passion fruit. Oh, uh, the passion fruit, yeah. To make juice. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is put up, this is put up We used to make soup with. Right, right, okay. This is the dashin that we make soup with. Okay. So, so uh, just so you know, because I've got a YouTube channel, so I'm just promoting through the market. And that this is the ginger that we used to make ginger beer with. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, um, just so you know, like. This is the golden apple that we use to make juice. Oh, we the blend golden and apple. Make juice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The golden apple. Yeah. So that one's um, that one's quite nice. I've had that golden, golden apple. apple. This yeah. is the golden apple that we use to make juice. Yeah. So how much does one of these bags cost? If someone comes in and wants to buy a bag. Five dollars. Five dollars for, for one bag. For one bag. Okay. Five dollars for a pound of ginger. This is a pound. Right, 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 right. Okay. So what about the sour saps? This is the sour sap that we use to make juice. So how much would that cost for the sour sap? Call me for the sour sap. Six dollars for one. Okay, okay, six for one. Okay. Yeah. Let's see you got some planting and you got some cucumber. This is the planting that we use to steam to um, eat with food. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like, I like my planting. That's good food, man. That's yeah. good food. So yeah. everything is just local you're dealing with. Yeah. You yeah, don't yeah. deal with no foreign. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what's this over here? You got over here? Is it um see the This is the eggplant, the balinji. Oh no, I'm speaking about this over here, the twig. The this is carrots. This one, this one. This over is here. cabbage. That one. This one right here. This is the spice that we used to make Marby with. So this is, oh okay. So that's the um the spice. Okay. Yes, okay. and this is the Marby. Oh, the morbi, yeah, yeah, the morbi, that's... Yeah. And where do you get it? You just stretch, take this from the trees? Yes, we use it from a tree. Right, okay, yeah, that's a, I like the morbi. This is morbi, Mark. And this is nutmeg. We use this, we grind it to put it in cake. Yeah, 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 yeah. What about these leaves over here? This is um kalalu. These, these are kalalu that we yeah. make soup with. Yeah, 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 the kalalu, yeah. Right. I see that, I see that. So St. Vincent have every local thing you could think about. Everything, yeah. when you come to Vincent, you get everything. Everything is five dollars. No yeah. less than five. So if the tourists are coming from the cruise ship, the market is just a five minute walk. You can come across, come... You just come across. You come across and you can pick up a bag pick of Pick up whatsoever dollars. you want. That's right, that's right. Okay, my brother. So I'm just coming out to the marketplace. Uh, so we're just gonna have a quick look around. We've got some breadfruit here as well. Some nice fresh breadfruit.
How much is it for the coconut water? $2. Two dollars each. Two dollars one. Uh, okay, okay. See, see, see. So. Those ones again, you can't remember. One with soft jelly. Yeah, I hear you. One with soft jelly. Wait, wait, what about this? This one, this one, this one. Like this? Yeah, bigger than that. We have to get plenty of water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. When you come SVG, look for me, Rasta Gailo. This way, pick up here, and you will be taken care of. Two dollars for a coconut. Two dollars. So Alkaline. You make, <laughs> you make sure you check them out. You come to Kingston. It's literally five minutes from where the cruise liners pull in. This is your man. This is the. Look at this. You can choose whichever coconut you want. So the selection is yours. Bless his brother, bless his. So, if you come to St. Vincent by a cruise ship, the actual boat will port just right over here. To the distance where you can see the red and white boat. We're all the way, you see the pier going all the way to the end. That's where the actual cruise ship will port. So if you want to get around in the island, they have these taxis in the island. And each taxi goes to different parts of the island. Each taxi is two dollars to take a ride to any part of the island. So um, and each actual taxi has a name. So you see on each of the taxis they have a, a name. Maybe they're going to have a name in graffiti on the name of the taxi, and that's how the locals know the actual taxis by. It's actually the name on the side of the taxi. So let's take a look and see how these taxis look and how the taxi stand looks. So currently it's a Monday afternoon, so it's fairly busy. See these, uh, these here, how the taxis look, these little vans. In taxis, so they two dollars each. They can uh, take in several people, and you'll find that these taxis will put as many people in one taxi as possible to uh, get more money out of each ride. You can see the locals actually uh, waiting for the taxis. You see the tag one taxi here just leaving. Kingstown fish market so we're gonna have a quick look see what they got and see what kind of fish they catch Thank you. 
fish. It's all right, bro. I'm just doing the fish. We talk, we talk, we talk, we talk about television. We talk, we talk about television. And I have to take money out of my just come down to a guy in Kingstown his name is Altway he uh, sells shoes and some products which he makes himself so let's have a look at what he has Hello, my brother. yes my brother so my name is Andrew respect bro you think yeah so you have some stuff here that you're selling so can you show me exactly what you have yeah I got some shoes with you understand? Some sandals and some shoes and things. More import shoes and things, you understand? Yeah. Right? I used to build what I eat, how many building and things. So I'm doing more importing and things. You right, understand? Right. A lot of shoes and things that come from like Italy and Europe and all them, them places and hand, hand, handmade. Because the kind of heat and thing we're getting off of the, um, the ground in St. Vincent, a melting glue and thing off your shoes. Yes, yeah. You understand? Humidity, the so if, on your, if your shoes then could come so down, you understand? You, you, you get a better, a, a better deal. And along the way, you understand once your shoes then could come so long. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. As I was just selling oil and the incense too now. You understand? Right? A lot of my things in them, you know, you know, it's more like important thing now. You understand? Yeah, like the natural toothpaste, oil so, and so you make this where do you get the toothpaste from? I don't know bring them in, I'm more than um sent to them from overseas. Right. So is this stuff you make over here? What's this? The oil and thing. The oil and them, I'm not bringing the oil and them too. Right. Already make the oil and them. I'm not bringing a lot of my stuff in them. Right, right. Okay. But you see, like some of these, eh? Right? These, eh? All the local ones that we have, where you should make. 
I ain't got no more. I ain't told you this somewhere I'm gonna need to do. Oh, so yeah. you make you make this? Yeah, make them all the bamboo. Oh, okay, out yeah, of bamboo. Yeah, okay. Make them all the bamboo. That's right? quite nice. Nice, yeah. a lot of skills involved for this. Yeah. Local program now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the I think these local products is what people like to see. So, yeah. I mean, if, if you're going to come here to Kingstown, um, the name, where, whereabouts are you located? I'm located between Flo, between uh, Flo's right there, right? And did you say, 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 did you Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. So, and what days are you here? Right through. Right every through. day, every day, every day, every day except Sunday. Right, except yeah. Sunday. Except Sunday. So, so um, it, it's always nice being self-employed too, you know? right? Because you ain't have no boss, you have to work for nobody, you have to wake up and you understand? Yeah, yes. and this is how I, how I love it. How it? how many years you been doing this? Years, yeah. I, I can't even come. All my life, you can see. Cause me never work. Me, me never work for nobody. I hate a boss. I don't like boss. You know? And what part of Saint Vincent are you from? I'm from in Port Avenue, right in Tongue. Right, okay, right, right okay. Right in Tongue, right, born and okay. raised in Tongue, you know? So who, who taught you how to make this bamboo product here? Who yeah, but, but this? They, 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 they import, but the bamboo product can look something like this one here, right? Right. It, they, but it's a natural thing now, but, you know, I ain't had no more the bamboo. I yeah. I had no more the bamboo product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But we did also you know, right? We don't you know, like, sell a lot of natural organic stuff, like the black seed oil. We have seed oil and avocado oil and all them, right? Yeah. You just think now, like, when people want to make a smoothie and thing, yeah. right? They, uh, they come here and buy a lot of the um, mixture to make the smoothie and thing, right? Right? Like the chia seed and the sesame seed and the oats and, you understand? Every real thing, like, the other thing with the, um, when they're making the smoothie and thing now, yeah. right? And we also have the cashew nuts, you understand? Right? Yeah, but a lot of the things in them right now, yeah, it's it, it more important it import stuff, you know? Right, right, okay. Stuff, man. okay. And we try to go more natural and more organic. Yes. You yes, know, right now, yes. them time, we check yeah. it more health for the people. You understand? We're trying to show it like a lot of people now, obesity you now is we mashing up a lot of people in St. Vincent. Not in St. Vincent, all over the place, too. You understand? So, so if, what, what reason would you give anyone to come to St. Vincent? What's the main reason to come to, to St. Vincent? Well, St. Vincent is a lovely place, brother. We got a lot to see. You understand what you're trying to show, right? And, you know, right? We don't really have, like, too much uh, a, a, a beachfront, like, excitement for the beach and stuff like that. Only a kind of thing, but you see the river, right? Mm -hmm. Right, going up in the mountain and going up in the jungle, and, you understand? And you're a bit taking a river bath and having picnic from the river. It's real nice. St. Vincent is real sweet, brother. Yes, yes. Real lovely, trust me. You All know? right, Anytime well, you come to St. Vincent, experience the river bath. You understand? Experience a nice river, river back. We have we have um, table rock, right? We have Rariku, we had a place on George so You understand? They used to go to Joe Terminal. They used to real nice, but the volcano erupt now. Volcano come and mash down a lot of the river area thing now, right? And it mash it down, right? And so it, so it rebuild. When it mash down, it rebuild. But the only thing now, it rebuild now in different location now. Right, you understand? Right, so that's yes, where the adventure yes. now that's coming in. I forgot fine. Yeah. You were the differently uh, the new new location over the rivers and then come and rebuild over and thing. And okay. a lot of people don't find them already, so there's a BR uh, river splash and a real nice, you know? Okay, brother. Yeah. Well look, I'm gonna leave you to it, I'm gonna head off, but respect. We'll just get some of this stuff out to the people so they can see what you have. Man has a and, respect. Uh, yeah. And not respect to the England the England man and England and Marcia. Yeah, Sharon, love y'all. You understand what I'm saying? Bless you, love, right? All right, bless you. Yes, man, yes, man. <laughs>